Today we're going to go over some cartridge cleaning. This is something that is probably already going out of style. I would imagine probably Nintendo Switch users will have to do this in 20 years as well. Um, dust is enemy number one of electronics. And here I'm just going to use some 91% isopropyl alcohol. It was the highest kind that I could find. And some Q-tips and basically just wipe the insides of them and I'm going to show you the results. These haven't really been touched. They were played, but they'll probably still have some type of junk in them. Now obviously you're going to want to let this stuff dry. You're not going to want to just insert this into your console. Even if you're using a high content isopropyl alcohol because it may still be wet enough to screw stuff up. So that one wasn't so bad, but you can see that one patch there. And it's not that the game wasn't playing, because it was, but yeah, I probably haven't done that in 20 years, so. <laughs> now I'm going through and I'm just quote unquote drying it. Really what I'm doing is I'm just collecting more stuff and you can see that's exactly what happened. I also like to use this air canned air stuff. I use it after I'm done wiping just to encourage the alcohol to evaporate more. And you know I lost the straw naturally. I think I actually repurposed it for some oil. And yeah obviously you can't use an oil straw on the air can. That air can probably cost me about eight dollars. Granted I did go to like Rite Aid or someplace like that but still. Here this is the dust cover that helps protect the rest of the thing from dust. So this is my non-functional game shark, and you can see it has no dust cover, so I'm pretty sure that's why it's non-functional. Next up is Armorines, which I think is the, well, at least one of the worst games ever made. The Nintendo 64. And this one seems to yield the same results. I have been keeping them in recent years in sealed containers. Next up we have Mario Tennis, which I think is an awesome game. And I'm going to be reviewing this, also 007, The World Is Not Enough, and The Armed Marines. I've actually already done two of the three and you can check them out on my YouTube channel. I put Mario Tennis here because it's just an awesome game. I also have to admit I put it on the list because I've been playing some Game Boy Color tennis games, and particularly the um, Power Tour, as it's called in Japan. I'm unsure what it was called in Europe and the Americas, but yeah, it's like Mario Tennis Power Tour. And you have to gain more attributes for your players with training, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'm going to compare and contrast that with that game. As I said before, I've already reviewed 007. 007 is, of course, an awesome game. The world is not enough. Um, GoldenEye was cool, too. These were old games from my childhood that have probably spent some time on the floor just kind of chilling. Now I keep them in a container. I suggest everybody keeps them in a container. And yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much that. It's nothing crazy. But here's the funny part is, when I was a kid, they didn't have the end duster, but they actually sold these kinds of cleaning kits. And they had isopropyl alcohol in them. You know, they just didn't say isopropyl alcohol. It was this little container of it. And then they also came with Q-tips, but to make it look different, what they did was they cut them in half, and I think they colored them pink. But as kids, we were stupid enough to buy them, and our parents were stupid enough to buy them. So thanks for watching this cleaning video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you later. Don't forget your Q-tips, your isopropyl alcohol, and your end dust. Thank you.